Hello, we got a young box. Sorry, wait. She's been putting it off every single day. <laughs> We've had it about a week. <laughs> Damn, touch it. It is from Russia. <laughs> off they go to Russia. Those dolls. Your hands on it. I love those dolls. Oh yeah, you should have brought my stacking I dolls. I tasted Russia's most extravagant yummies. Where are you going? I'll be back. Where are you going? There's our map where we're eating from in Russia. Siberia, Moscow. Okay, I'll come. Some words I'm not even gonna try to say. Let me see. Those actually are from Russia too. <sighs> I think in exchange, in exchange, in exchange student gave it to her when she was in college. Nope, high school, middle high school. school. You, there will be so many of them. Then you just take one out, and then you continue. Stacking doll. And continue. They go one more. There's no more. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. I thought she had four. She's only got three. Oh. Basically the same portion. Just gets from bigger to smaller. Come on, let them see them all set out. Sure. Okay, let's get on with our box. Please let them see all of them set out. They they're on the table and they're teeny tiny. Mom, put them in taller, shortest order. And then this is how you put them together. Take off this dude's head. Take off this dude's head. They're chicks, not dudes. Okay. Put him in here. Her. Take him in, put him on here. Put this dude's butt on there. Put the head on this dude. Her. Chick. I don't care. We're done. Okay. Um, she can say. We cannot eat these yes. clap monster These are some, um, they say crab, but they, like, hold on, there we go. They say that they're crab chips, but when you look on the back, they don't have crab, but they do have shrimp, and we don't eat shrimp. So, our neighbors get to try those for us. They're waffles. Mm. We got waffles. Where are we headed to the waffles? For certain with the waffles? Yeah. Ooh, they have a recipe for proshkis. <coughs> so these are boiled condensed milk waffles. So, so this is a, this is a gooey Russian caramel and soft homemade waffle. Mine. Uh, there's one a piece. Hey! Hey! Look, there's two waffles picky. Oh, don't do that. There's not two waffles. <laughs> there's two waffles, but it's like a salmon. Yeah. I'm like, mom. Is that, I think, slip inside of this? Very tasty. Caramel. It's good. Mm. It's like a waffle? Mm -hmm. There's caramel inside. Seriously? Rude juice. Did you show them the package that's all ripped open now? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. No. Man, it seems like we don't have a lot this time, but we do. Oh, looky here. Ice cream nougat choco bar. And there's this little thing. Maybe let me stop this. Well, I guess you're going to have to sit it here. Sit it on that. <sighs> Mr. I gotta have it all. You ain't eating it all. Got the video this on is the nougat inspired by Palm Buyer Ultra Rich, Rich Russian Ice Cream. That's really interesting. What is it? Nougat. Mm. Vanilla ice cream nougat choco bar. Good. 
It's good, but there's a funny flavor that I'm used to, but I don't, I can't tell you what it is. Mmm. There is a popular expression in Russia that during Soviet times, tourists only came for three things, the ballet, the circus, and the ice cream. Hollenberg. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Retro Russian ice cream was one defining factor. It's extremely rich. Pretty good. Okay. I'm going to show the food. Stop showing the food. I'm going to make you stop doing these. Hey, we're missing some. Where's the roasted peanut and caramel chocolate bar? And <sighs> What did you do? I didn't do anything. I think he's ate out of the pack before we got to do the thing. He snuck food while it sat on the counter. It's very tasty. Well, I guess it was good, he says. Am I grounded? Yes. Now you have to have the mushroom bread bite. You turned me. I'm going to steal it for myself. Mushroom crouton. Yeah. Mushroom bread bite. Mmm. I never ate it because I didn't want to get grounded. <laughs> um, I don't know. They put on. Oh, every year they go mushroom hunting in Siberia. Um, it's the most. It's the Russia's most popular the pastime. They put the juicy thing on it. Open the yum. You never open the yum bag without us eat, going to eat it. And? How do you like it? How do you like it? This is good. This is bad. So it tastes like a mushroom? As a chip. Well, it's bread. It's a crouton. And it's a legit crouton. Like, check it out. It's a crouton. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But there's like, it tastes good and bad at the same time. Like, the aftertaste is very like garlicky, buttery. I like that. But the front taste is very... Fungus. <laughs> fungus? Because a mushroom is a fungus. It's a fungus among us. Now what do we have? What is these? That's not full. Caramel toffee. That with this hazelnut. Is no, I want to have my chocolate bonbon thing second. I'm having the caramel toffee with hazelnut cocoa filling. What am I having? You are having passion fruit jelly choco bonbon. Oh, this show them your little this thing when you get it because I like. just ate mine. Is what it looks like with me bitten into it. Mm -mm. How's yours? Mm -hmm. The inside. Like I gotta go get you. This is this one is mine is made for Nutella lovers. I love Nutella. His is found trash cam. Yep. This is okay, but the Ooh. problem is I hate gushers. Oh, those are good. Um, and that old gum that was like Dr. Pepper gum and 7-Up gum and you bit it and it like in your mouth. This is toffee. Caramel. That's why I'm still chewing. And it's got hazelnut cocoa filling. Oh, and that jelly. It's like juicy Ooh. jelly. I don't like it because it's like blah. when you bite it. Oh, show him the ball. Show him the ball. With me bitten into it. I don't know. You can juice that. But it juices in your mouth, and I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> okay, now. This is the passion fruit jelly. You can't really see that bon bon. Choco bonbon. You don't like what it got now? No, not that. Oh. 
But I like passion fruit. <laughs> Wanna go talk to Mr. Trash Can? <laughs> Here's the inside. Oh, uh, show them. So it's the jelly and the stuff like, yeah. Mm. I think the problem for me with it, it doesn't taste bad, but it's like a cherry's cordial, and I hate those because, again, too many textures, not all the right way together. Tastes good? No, can't do. Mm -mm. No. Right. Or not everything? Give me that bar you keep hiding. This is the roasted peanut and caramel choco bar. They like choco, I guess. I don't know. Come on, let's see it. Smooth caramel and peanut butter you chunks. You gotta go eat some more. Slathered in cocoa. I have to have another mushroom one. I have to go. Can you, actually? I bet it's good. Where's Oreo when you need him? I'm glad. Okay. These I can totally save and stick on a salad. I mean, they are crouton anyways. That would be good. But I guess I'm not going to get to. Get over here. You can have them later. And your waffle that is half eaten. Come on. I'm opening. As long as you share it. Don't be okay. rude. I got to show them. Okay. Show them the bar that you stole and hid and pretended. Get it, get it nice enough there to hand it to them. Well, not like that. <laughs> it happens. I'm going to slap them to you in a minute. But I got to show them the whole bowl. This is the whole bowl. It looks like a candy bar. I don't want candy. Don't, 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 don't. 30 minutes. I'll take the little side. I'm okay with it. Okay, I like, I'm fine I like with it. it. Let, me, let me help though, because I don't really want my chocolate all melted in your dirty mitt. Okay. We got this. Nice and caramely and peanutty in the center. Mmm. It's hard. It's hard, it's hard. Why not find the it's killing my teeth? That's really good. I knew it was good. This is the best. Oh, why do you think I got me the big old piece? Hmm. Okay. Caramel. Peanut butter chunks. Slathered in cocoa. Okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, this is really kind of cool. So get this. It says Russian Orthodox Church celebrates three food-based harvest holidays in August. First, there's the Feast of Honey on the 14th in August. Then there's the Feast of Apples on the 19th when apples are ripe. And then there's the Feast of Nuts on the 29th when the locals would search the forest for nuts. But we know other holidays with apples and honey around August. <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is gonna pull the tooth out. Well, brush your teeth. Okay. This candy bar gets it for the win for me. It's kind of like a payday, but with chocolate. Um, and I can never remember because I don't eat them, but there used to be one that was like, the payday had the peanuts on the outside no chocolate there's another one that was basically the same but it had chocolate over it that's what it is it's really good <laughs> uh-oh i'm gonna need chocolate over there let's do a few questions okay i'm gonna ask you I, you can't go first because you cheat Mmm, we watched one the other day. 
Russia is roughly the same size as Africa, the moon, the Pacific Ocean, or Pluto. Pacific. Pacific. Hmm. Africa. Now, remember we watched one where they took Africa and put all the continents in it, and the United States was in there, and Russia was in there, and China was in there, and Asia was in there, and, and uh, there still was room? Russia is the largest country in the world. Country, not continent. With a surface area of 6.6 .6 million square miles, which is just a bit larger than the surface area of Pluto, with 6.4, oh, I said 6.6 .6 million? Yeah, 6.6 .6 million and 6.4 million square miles on Pluto. Out of this world, huh? In 2011, the Russian government didn't consider A, soccer to be a sport, B, beer to be alcohol, alcoholic, C, carrots to be vegetables, or D, summer to be a season. Guys, look at my, question, my answers. Soccer to be a sport. Soccer. Beer to be alcoholic. Soccer. Sure. Yeah. And B, beer to be alcoholic. I know what I'm like. Drinking super strong vodka is a cornerstone of Russian culture. In fact, consuming beverages with an alcohol content of less than 10%, like beer, wasn't even considered drinking alcohol in 2011 when the president, I, sorry, I can't say his name, Let me say. finally signed it into law. Dmitry Medvedev. Yeah. Um... Dimitri, Dimitri. Sorry, sorry about that. Which of the following can be found in Russia? The world's largest mall, the world's tallest statue of a woman, the world's highest bridge, or the largest collection of squirrel-related items? Squirrel. B and D, the world's tallest statue of a woman and the world's largest collection of squirrel-related items. So I got it. <laughs> That told me if it's a two Oh, Motherland Calls, which we've seen that on one we watched when we watched about different tall statues. That was the name of the statue in Volgograd. 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 Um, a man named Pavel. Hey, that was one of our exchange students' names. Pavel from Russia. Can't say his last name. Let owns the largest collection of squirrel-related items, consisting of 1,103 squirrel statues, one of which is made entirely of gold. Which is more impressive to you, the statue or the squirrel collection? Squirrel. I figured so. What are we on now? Um, Three or two. Well, I did one, five, and eight. We're not going to do them all. Um, um, which of the following was banned by Peter the Great? Beards, swimwear, coffee, or dancing? Did you say beards? Beards. Beards. <laughs> yes. Hoping to modernize Russia to be more European, Peter the Great implemented a ban on, a ban on beards in 1698. He soon softened his stance, instead imposing a beard tax. So if you wanted a beard, you had to pay a portion of your earnings. Talk about fashion police. Now let okay. me do the other four. Um, three. I didn't do three. I didn't do four. <clears throat> How far is Russia from Alaska? I don't know. A long ways. Oh, two point four miles. Two point six miles. Fifty five miles or three hundred fourteen miles. The first one. Two point six miles. You mean two point four? Yeah. Ha! I knew that. Four. St. Petersburg, Borg's world famous Hermitage Museum is guarded by active members of the military. Girl Scouts, the world's most advanced security system, or 74 cats. Girl Scouts. Oh, shit. No, but that's what I'm going with. 74 cats. <laughs> that was my second answer. <laughs> hey, you hey, gotta finish it. Um, six and eight. Go ahead. No, I did eight. Six and seven. Okay. And the following of Oi My Aken is the coldest inhabited place in the world. What? Oi My Aken. 
the village of, yeah. Oi, my yakin. Oi, my yakin. Still not how you say it. <laughs> Go. Is the world's coldest inhabited place in the world, followed by the world's the most isolated town in the world, or completely underground? We're going with completely underground. No, we're going with the coldest place in the world. Yep. Must be up in Siberia. Okay, last one. Um, the Russell blow. Negative ninety six point sixteen degrees Fahrenheit. There. Fahrenheit. Yeah, you ain't going outside when it's negative ninety six. You'd be a human popsicle in like one point two seconds. Well, guess I'm not gonna have the croutons later on a salad. Pretty sure my three I had to eat is all that's left. Okay, what's next? Last one. Was that it? Um, which of the following was considered in Siberia? Which of the following was considered in Siberia? Oh. What's the answers? Which of the following was once considered was currency once? in Siberia? Okay, currency. Basket of pails, bricks of tea, bales of, bales of hay, or bags of sugar? Ooh, I could see all of those. We're going to go with bags of sugar, <coughs> baskets of pears, mm. bales of hay. Mm. What was the last one? Bricks of tea. Bricks of tea. All right. Well, now you're smarter. Bye. Bye.